All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Hubcap Point Outdoors, and today we're back out in the deer stand. But today we're not exactly deer hunting. Today I've got my eyes on the squirrels out here because the other day I was sitting out here just filming, and I had a nice little eight-point buck walk walk up right on top of me. He was just outside this window right here, and we were looking eye to eye with with each other, and it was because there's so many squirrels out here I couldn't hear him walking. All right guys, today the rifle we're using is a Beeman HW77K. It's a uh, .117 caliber air rifle, shooting around 1,000 feet per second, basically from what I can gather from what I've read. And it's more than enough to lay the smack down on a squirrel. So as soon as they get running around out here in just a few minutes, we're gonna see how she performs and we'll go from there. So we're gonna see if we can eliminate a few of these guys today just to see if we can make it a little easier to deer hunt out here. I'm not exactly necessarily worried about being quiet, trying to hide. I'm in my little pop-up blind right here. I know for a fact you give it 20, 30 minutes, they're gonna be running around all over the place no matter what I'm doing. Alright guys, I got a squirrel working on coming in range up here, so we we'll see if we can't take a shot at him. He's right over there. We're gonna get the gun up and see if I can get a good shot. I spent too much time talking about it guys. Now he's done got behind some trees. Alright guys, well we've sat here for a little while, I've taken a couple shots at some squirrels, I don't think my rifle is exactly on, but they were pretty far off and I may have glanced off a tree branch or two, they weren't exactly clean line of sight shots, but unfortunately the FedEx driver just drove down the road that's right behind me over here and pretty much spooked everything in the woods, so I figured I'd break in to give you guys an update and we might go put this gun on some paper tomorrow and see if we can't dial it in to be exactly on point because I can't be missing these squirrels. They were a little far, but even then I shouldn't be missing them like that. They shouldn't just sit there and wonder what just happened. They should have at least been hit. Keep hanging around guys because this video ain't over yet and we've got a long way to go before dark. Guys, stuff like that shouldn't be happening. We're definitely going to put this gun on paper tomorrow. Well, guys, it's getting on down to sunset, and I reckon I ought to start packing things up. And I'm pretty sure y'all got to jump to this pretty quick. I had to sit here all, all afternoon, but apparently this gun is not nearly as on as I thought it was. So, like I said, we're going to hit the range tomorrow. We're going to get this gun sighted in and I may come back midday sometime tomorrow and try this again. Or depending on what my buddy's doing, we may just wait until the afternoon and come in here tomorrow night and see if we can't shoot some bullfrogs because I've got quite the population of bullfrogs floating around here. So, we're either going to gig them or shoot them. You can hit them with a slingshot or you can hit them with a dart gun. It doesn't really matter, but I really need to get some of these squirrels out of here. And I hate that I took as many shots as I did today and didn't hit a thing. But sometimes it's like that and that's just life. We'll get this gun to the range tomorrow and figure out what exactly it's doing. And I guarantee you we won't repeat this again. Y'all stay tuned. 
All right, guys. It's been a couple of days, actually. I know I said I was going to get over to the range that following day, but it never happened because I got tied up with some stuff and I couldn't, just couldn't make it. So we're out here today, and I've already got my target down here on the board. So we're going to give it a few shots. I'm going to start from here. This is actually pretty pretty far for an air rifle but i just want to see what exactly it's doing at a distance and then we'll move up closer to an acceptable range and i'll dial it in for that and like i said this is just an experiment just to see what exactly is going on with this gun i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this and you guys enjoy Send about three of them down there. And then we're gonna walk down there and check and see where they are here. Super curious to figure out where this thing's hitting at. From this kind of distance. All right, and like I said, we'll walk down here and see exactly where where that's hitting. Like I said, that's pretty pretty far shot for an air rifle. But we're gonna find out just exactly where this is hitting. That way, if I need to make adjustments, I can. Well, guys, it, what you reckon that is? 50 yards? This is where I'm hitting. One, two, and the third one's right in there. I don't know if you can see the pellet in there. So that's not bad for 50 yards. I'm gonna move up a little closer. And we're gonna do this exact same thing again. brought it in about half the distance that I used to be so I'd say it's 25 or so yards forward right there um, yeah we're just gonna shoot and see what happens so you guys enjoy all right I've made a few more shots from about 25 yards so I didn't get all of them on camera because the camera wasn't recording, but I mean, that's fairly nice grouping. You can see the pellet stuck in the wood. All right, guys, like I said, I made me a few little adjustments while I was out here. And I've got this thing pretty much where I want it, so. I guess the next thing you guys will see is me headed into the woods to go see if I can't kill me some of the old tree rats. So, Y'all stay tuned, we'll get back with you later. All right guys, well I'm making my way back in here to this deer stand that we were squirrel hunting out of the other day. And we're gonna give this another shot. I've been over to the range, put my pellet rifle on paper to get a much more clear representation of where exactly this bullet lands and how I can expect it to behave at different ranges. So hopefully we won't have a debacle like we did the other day. And we'll actually be able to take us a few of these critters down out here because man, I'm telling you, it's overpopulated in here and some of them have to go. But all right, we're getting here to the deer stand. So I'm going to set you guys down so I can get in the stand and then we'll get all set up and I'll get back with you guys.
All right, guys. <clears throat> I got him. We're gonna go get him. I had to put a second shot in him because he didn't die very well. So I give him another shot and a couple of minutes he quit moving. Man, it really wasn't minutes. A few seconds, but here we go guys. Where's it? There he is. First squirrel with the new pellet rifle. Yep. We'll go put him in the tent with us and get quiet and see if I hope, I hope another one comes out. And we'll get him too. Well, obviously that little trip to the range helped. We're gonna keep going. You guys stay tuned. Guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't been back in the stand maybe two minutes from going over there and picking that squirrel up. And I'm already seeing like five or six squirrels. They're well outside of my range, but they're already back. They're not afraid of me. I'm here to change that. We're going to keep on hunting and I'm going to keep watching these squirrels. Hopefully one of them comes into range and I'll have a chance to shoot another one. Until then, you guys just hang out. We're going to keep doing what we're doing because it's working. All right, guys. Well, I've sat here probably... 45 minutes or so after I shot that last squirrel and I haven't heard a peep of movement since I saw them few squirrels leaving just a little while ago and it's starting to get dark and I've got to get back on up here to the house so I can get this squirrel cleaned up and still have some daylight to do it in. I'll probably come back down here off camera and take a few more of them out because one's just not going to do it like that's not going to be enough. We did get one and I did get one on camera for you guys so that was at least a goal met. I guess we're gonna get back on up here to the house and get this guy cleaned up before he lays there too much longer. I don't want him to spoil. We'll see you guys when we get back to the house. All right guys, I'm back at the truck with the squirrel and I'm about to get him cleaned up. Sucks we only got one today, but that's just how it is sometimes. You win some, you lose some. And today we won, but we didn't win as big as we wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and get this squirrel cleaned up guys. I'm gonna save you guys from that process and we're gonna go ahead and call the video here. I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned in for the next one. Appreciate it.